Hi guys, my name is Bethany and I am the Yogi Witch. Welcome to today's full moon flow. I'm so excited, it's gonna be a 15 minute flow, moving around our mat, we're not gonna be moving fast today. Today, instead we're gonna take it slow, we're really gonna harness the energy of the full moon and we're gonna have a special treat at the end and in the beginning by doing some journaling. So grab yourself a mat, grab yourself a notebook and make sure you get a pen and I'll see you on the mat in a moment. cross underneath you or can be extended out in front of you but wherever you find yourself just gonna get yourself comfortable move around a little bit and then taking one hand onto your chest and the other onto the ground beneath you we're just gonna ground ourselves here with our breath just connecting with the earth connecting with the universe connecting with all the elements around us is super important when it's the full moon to really kind of take notice of the world around you and kind of tune in to how the earth feels how you feel so just breathing in through the nose and out through the nose as you really feel the earth beneath your fingertips, feeling your chest and feeling that connection, that energy connection moving from your chest down your arm to the tips of your fingertips into the ground. you've done a flow with me before, a full moon flow perhaps, then you know how important it is this time of day. This is when, if you've practiced a full moon flow with me before, then you'll know how important, how significant the full moon is, how powerful it can be to our energy. The moon controls the tides, it controls the emotions, it's so beautiful, so powerful, and it's personally what I worship. So today we're going to look at releasing anything that no longer serves in the beginning part of this flow and at the end of it we're going to harness all that energy and we're going to come into some affirmations of I am. We're really going to look at who we are and how we can become the best version of ourselves. So just spending a few more moments here grounding yourself with your breath. Gonna gently blink, open the eyes, come back into the room, and just take a few shoulder rolls here, moving in one direction and moving in another. And then taking our arms into the sky, we're gonna inhale, exhale, we're gonna leave our left hand top of our head, taking our right hand down to the side, we're just gently gonna guide the head over to the left hand side, getting a beautiful stretch down the neck. Inhale, both arms come back to the sky. Exhale, right hand comes up in the head, flexing the hand of the left, flexing the left hand. <laughs> and get this stretch on the other side. And then inhale, arms come up to the sky, interlocking the fingers, really push the hands to the sky. Get a beautiful stretch of the spine here. And then release the hands, shaking off the wrists. And we're just gonna grab our journal. I love journaling, it's what I do every single day, and it actually has been since I was probably about 11. So today, for this full moon flow, we're really going to look at the power of words, the power of affirmations. So like I said, in the beginning part, we're going to release anything that no longer serves us. So take this moment, for the next few minutes, to grab your journal, and a pen that works, and we're just going to write, I release. And then once you've written I release, you're gonna write a list of everything that you're gonna to release today. Anything you're only gonna let go of. It can be anything you want. It can be toxic relationships, toxic friendships. It can be a bad habit or a bad way of thinking, anything. And you're gonna release it without any judgment for having it in the first place. So I release and then write your list. You 
can be as long or as short as you want. We're really tuning in here when we journal into how we feel in ourselves. And it's a space I find journaling or diary writing, whatever you want to call it, is a space where you're completely safe. You can burn the pages, you can rip them up, you can hide them away, or you can show them proudly. It's a space where you can say anything that you want to say with no judgment from anybody else. You don't have to ask anybody permission for what you want to write. It's completely private, it's completely you, and it's a safe space. spend a couple more moments here. Write in what you need to. Often when you get into the swing of it, you can't really stop. You can press pause here in the video if you've got a little bit more to write or you might want you might want to write a little bit more information about the things you want to release but you're more than welcome to press the pause here or you can follow me and keep going and then what you're going to write next is after you finish i release you're going to write i welcome and you're going to write a list of the things that you welcome into your life now you've been letting go of the things that no longer serves you Again, it can be whatever you want it to be, as detailed as you want it could be. <laughs> so I welcome and write a list of the things we welcome. And it can be write whatever you want to write. You can write success, wealth, happiness, good times, anything. It could be anything. Beauty of journaling. I'm considering writing, I welcome in a billion pounds. I think I could manifest that. I've got my eye on a few new yoga mats. <laughs> And then when you're ready, it's going to read your list back. And when you read it back to yourself, you can say it out loud, because obviously I can't hear you. You're going to say it with such power, such like firm tone that you release da 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 And say it out loud, say it to the universe, what you want to let go of, you don't want in your life anymore, it doesn't serve you anymore. So just say it out loud now to yourself or out loud. And then when you've getting <laughs> when you've gotten to the bottom of lift, you've said everything you want to release, you're gonna say now, I welcome and say it with such positivity, such firmness. Say it like you mean it. This is what you're bringing into your life. This is what you want. You're harnessing the power of the moon and this is what you're bringing into you. So for example, I have written, I welcome in positivity, I welcome in happiness, laughter, a few other things I'm going to keep private. <laughs> Saying it out loud now to yourself. And 
and then when you're ready, you're going to pop your journal to one side as we come into the yoga flow. We're reminding yourself every time you throw through the next 15 minutes of what you're releasing, what you're letting go of. This is what you don't want in your life and really feel in the pit of your stomach, in your solar plexus, what you want to bring in. All the good things, all the success, all the happiness, all the laughter that you want to bring in. Only you can do this to yourself. It's a positive mindset, it's a positive attitude, it's the power of thought and it's the power of the full moon. So when you're ready, you come back into your mind. I'm going to roll all the way over onto all fours here. Checking our alignment and then just working through some cat pals. So inhale, drop the chest, look forwards. Exhale, push into the spine and curve. Inhale, drop the chest. Exhale, curve the spine. And then take this a few more times at the rhythm of your own breath. And then when you feel like you've had enough, just taking a few movements here. It could be anything you want. It could be circles. It could be moving the hips from side to side. Anything that you like. And then gently walking the hand forwards, coming onto your fingertips. You're going to lower the chest down, coming into puppy pose. Get a beautiful stretch of the back of the shoulders here. Keeping your hips above your knee. If this is too much for you, you can come into child's pose, whichever feels good for you. And then gently Raising the body up, still on those fingertips. You're then going to push forward, lowering the hips down, coming into sphinx pose. We're moving on to the forearms. Your feet come to either edge of the mat, looking forward. Should probably move the stick before I put my mat down. As it's quite early on in the practice, or you might have not done too much warming up as I haven't done today. You might want to stay here, or if you're a natural backbender and you really search for a deeper stretch, you can push onto your hands, keeping them straight here and get the deeper back bend. Again, it's completely up to you. I'm not staying here too long, so releasing the forehead down, giving your third eye a little bit of a massage here as you roll the forehead back and forth. And then bringing the hands next to your chest, you're gonna push up to upward dog, taking your face forward, inhale, and then tuck those toes, you're gonna lift the hips to the sky, coming into down dog, pedaling one leg, pedaling another. And then bringing your big toes together, you're going to sweep the right leg all the way into the sky, coming off the tippy toes of your right foot, and then bend this knee, move to split dog. And moving slowly, moving with control, but we're moving with power today in our flow. So bringing the right knee all the way into the chest, so slowly, really engaging the core here, engaging the mulabanda, and then popping the right foot in between the hands, lowering the left knee. We're going to inhale. Take the arms overhead and come into a back bend, into a crescent lunge here. Beautiful. And then coming back to the centre, you're going to pin it on your left foot, moving to a modified warrior two, bending into that front knee, taking your gaze over your hands here. And then engage in that core. You're going to straighten out the right foot, bring in the left hand to the mat and come into a modified side plank. You can lift your back foot off if you like, get a bit more of the bands, engage in that core. 
and then popping the right hand down, pivoting again on that left foot, bringing the right leg next to the left. You're going to tuck the toes and lift to down dog on the other side. And then bring the big toes together, sweeping the left leg into the sky, bending here to come to split dog, standing on the tippy toes of our right foot. And then slowly engaging the mula banda, bringing the left knee all the way into the chest, holding here, and then popping it in between our hands. Inhale to come to a crescent lunge. So coming into a mini back bend here. Oh, Foxy. Yeah. That sun is really messed up my balance. And then moving back up, we're going to pivot on that right foot, coming into a modified warrior two. Beautiful. And straightening out the left leg, bringing the right hand down to the mat, move to a modified side plank. You can lift the back foot off here, engaging the core, testing your balance. I'm having to close the eyes because I want to see the sun is too bright for this full moon flow. And then popping the left hand down to the mat, pivoting on that right knee, bring both knees together, tuck those toes, and then lift the hips into the sky, pending one leg, pending another. Getting comfortable here. And then once again, bringing the big toes together, going to sweep the left leg of the right leg into the sky, coming on the chippy toes of your left foot, and bend this knee move to split dog. And then with control, you're going to bring that right knee all the way into the chest, holding here before placing in between your hands, keeping the back leg up this time, coming into a high lunge, and inhale, arms the overhead to a crescent lunge. And then bringing the body back up. Going to pivot on the back foot, moving to warrior two. And then taking the hands into the sky, you're going to pivot your right foot so both feet are parallel now. And then taking your left toes to point forward, you're going to bend into warrior two on the other side. Beautiful. And then taking the hands up to the sky once more with control. You're going to pivot on that right foot, coming into your crescent high lunge. So windmilling both hands down. You're going to step back to your three-legged dog on the left-hand side. We're placing the left foot down, bringing the big toes together. And this time we're going to sweep the right leg to the sky, coming on the tippy toes of our right, of our left foot, and move to split dog. And again with control, you're going to bring that right knee all the way into the chest, stepping in between the hands. Inhale, come to crescent lunge. Exhale, we're going to move to warrior two, so pivoting that back leg, engaging your mother banda, bending into the front knee. And then gently extending the front knee. You're going to flip your hands so your hands are facing forward and then pivot from the hips coming to triangle pose. Opening up the chest here, taking our gaze up to the sky. And then bending into that front knee, come back to warrior two, taking the hands to the sky as you pivot the feet, both in broken feet parallel. And then take the right leg forward, coming into warrior two on the other side. Straightening out the left leg, we're going to pivot coming into triangle and once more. And then moving briefly back to our warrior two, taking the hands up to the sky. We're going to pivot on that back leg, coming back into our crescent lunge. And then taking both hands down to the mat, step back to our down dog, pedaling out the legs. 
I'm going to keep going, feeling so strong, feeling so steady in the slow movement. Like bringing big toes together, I'm going to sweep the left leg to the sky this time, bending the knee, come to split dog, and then bring the left knee into the chest, engaging the core, and step through all the way to our high lunge, arm come overhead, crescent lunge. And then exhale, move to warrior two. Taking the right hand behind the back, we're gonna move forward, flip the left palm and come to reverse warrior. And this time we're gonna straighten out the front leg, really feeling a deeper stretch. We're moving the whole body upwards and then pivoting the feet, we're gonna take the warrior two on the other side. Beautiful. Then taking the left hand behind the back, we're going to move forward, flip the palm and come to reverse warrior. And again, straightening out that front leg. Taking both hands to the sky, bringing the feet parallel. We're going to take the left leg forward and this time we're going to follow the back leg coming into our parent motion. You might want to step a little bit more forward. Taking the hands behind the back, you're going to find each elbow and you're going to bring your hips parallel. Inhale, look forward and exhale, forward fold over that front leg. You really want to pull back the hip on your left leg, getting those legs parallel. Doesn't matter how deep you go, you just want to feel that stretch. And you can stay here if it feels right or you can go a bit further by maybe taking your right hand to the mat and then take your left arm up to the sky, coming into a pyramid twist. Beautiful. Taking the hands, engaging the core behind your back once more. You're gonna lift the chest all the way up, keeping your hands where they are, pivoting the feet so they come back to parallel. And again, you're gonna take the right leg forward, hopping a little to bring your right leg into a little bit of an alignment, it's almost like a warrior two, warrior two, warrior one stance. Inhale, bring both hips parallel, and exhale, gonna forward fold, moving back that right hip, feeling that stretch of the hamstrings. And if you want to stay here, you can stay here, or you can drop the left hand down, taking the right hand up the sky, coming into a pyramid twist. And then engaging that core, taking both hands behind the back. And then inhale, bring the body all the way forward. And you can step all the way to the top of your mat. Taking a moment here, closing the eyes and just getting some movement. Just swinging the hips from left to right. Feeling grounded in our legs. No fancy movement here. And then gently blink the eyes open. Bring your feet hips width apart. You're gonna inhale, take the arms all the way overhead. And exhale, swan dive all the way to a forward fold. Inhale, look forwards, straight in the back. Exhale, plant the hands down, step one leg back, step another leg back, coming into a plank. You can take a plank with knees down or a full vinyasa. So whatever you like, just taking your vinyasa here. Inhale to upward dog. And exhale, we're gonna move back to our sphinx pose. Forearms are facing flat into the mat, fingers all facing forwards, and just close the eyes here. And then once more, gently releasing the forehead to the mat. 
massaging your third eye by moving the head from side to side. And then bringing your hands next to your chest. You can inhale to lift up, look forwards. And exhale, saying goodbye to our down dog by tucking the toes, lifting the hip bones into the sky. And then bringing, if you like, your right knee to your right wrist, bending your left leg on top. You can move back to a comfortable seated position. Once again, bringing one hand to our chest, the other to the ground beneath us. The birds have all decided to come out and play now. I'm sorry if you don't like the sound of birds. And then keeping whichever hand you have next to the floor, you're going to move it out to the side gently and take the hand that's on your heart overhead, coming to a side body stretch. And then gently release the hand in the air the ground beside you and then lift the other arm up to the sky. Bringing both hands up to the sky and allow them back to your heart centre. And before we come to Shavasana, we're just going to grab our journal once more. And then this time we're going to find a nice clean page. And we're going to write Maybe at the top, in the middle, wherever you like. I am. And now I want you to list all the things that you are, all the positive things that you are. It doesn't matter, I don't want you to be humble here. All the good things that make you proud, that make you happy. can be anything. Feel proud of them. It can be anything. Even if you think it's silly like I am the best cook. Write it down. Wear it loud and proud. Now, when you've written your list, I would just like you to find one thing on there, anything that calls out to you in this moment, and this is going to be what you're going to meditate on for the next five minutes or so. And then when you've written your list, I would just like you to pick one thing off this list. Could be anything, anything on there that shouts out to you, that calls to you, that you believe to be wholeheartedly true about yourself. And this is what we're going to spend our time meditating on the Shavasana. So find your word, the word that resonates to you. And then when you're ready, you can come to lie down, you can come and sit on a bolster or a block, anything that you like for your Shavasana today, anything that kind of your body is craving. And then wherever you are, you can get yourself comfortable. And you're just going to bring your attention to your breath. Repeating that I am affirmation to yourself, the one that you've chosen that's called out to you over and over and over again to yourself. It doesn't matter what it is, I'd just like you to repeat to yourself with positivity, with firmness, with power, harness this full moon energy. And imagine that when you open your eyes, you're going to be as powerful and as magical as this word is to you.
just repeating it over and over to yourself. Repeating it so much that it feels like it's running through your bloodstream. That this word is a part of you. As if you've tattooed it onto your heart, onto your soul. And then wherever you are, wherever you are in your Shavasana, you're more than welcome to stay here. Or if you're lying down, you can gently bring yourself to a seated position. If you're seated, and once you get to seated, you're going to interlock your fingers, taking the hands behind your head and gently begin to curve the spine inwards forward folding as you stretch out the neck. And then as you inhale, you're going to lift the chest, lifting the hands out to the side and gently release the hands, bring them to cactus arms, opening up that chest, harness that power, harness that energy, harness the magic. And then gently release the hands, namaste in the centre of the chest. And blink the eyes open. Thank you for joining me for today's full moon flow. And I hope you remember how magical, how powerful, how absolutely perfect you are. And I'll see you on the mat soon. Namaste. So, we finished the flow and we still have our journal. So there's a couple of things you can do. You can just whip these out. You can rip them up, throw them away. You can keep them. Or you can do what may be a traditional kind of practice for a full moon is so in my own witchcraft practice i write these things down so i write what i release what i welcome in and i rip out the re i release aspect i fold it up and i burn it i burn it on a candle specifically white for purification i burn it and then i kind of flush away the ashes so anything that I'm releasing, I flush away, I get rid of them. They're gone, they're not coming back to spice. When you burn something, it kind of purifies it and it kind of sends it out into the universe. So when you burn the I release affirmations, you're sending it out to the universe that this is what you want to let go of. You don't want these in your life anymore. With the I welcome, again, rip it out and I pop it somewhere, maybe private or anywhere that you go every single day. So maybe your, I don't know, vanity, vanity table, is that what it's called? Makeup desk. Or the bathroom, you can tip it, tape it to the bathroom mirror. You can put your baby bedside. And every day for the next few days, while the full moon is still around, I repeat them to myself. So I welcome in positivity, I welcome in success, etc., etc. And I read these out every morning, every night for the next few days. The I am, you're gonna keep this I am. This is gonna stay in your journal if you like. In the birds. This is going to stay in your journal. You're going to date it. So date it for the 28th of March 2021. 20, and then I put in brackets full moon. <laughs> Just because I like to remember. And this is what you're going to keep. So you're going to remember these things. You're going to put them into your full moon practice and then you never get rid of these because these are the things that you want to stay with you forever. You want to stay this kind of confidence, this kind of belief in yourself. So I don't get rid of these, I keep these. And the same with the I welcome in, you can date them, you can keep them, or you can burn them and again send it out to the universe after you've finished with them. It's completely up to you. But if you want to know a little bit more information about what you can do for full moons, you can send me a message at the Yogi Witch on Instagram or you can comment underneath in this video. Whatever it is, I hope you have a truly blessed full moon. Namaste.